All right, guys. So I know that this is actually my third Bieberexa video, but I've probably had more interaction on those videos of people requesting different songs and things like that. And honestly, I got kind of busy and hadn't had a chance to catch up on those. But most recently, I had a Bieberexa America. They requested that I do this evolution of her music. And I figured that would be a good way to catch up, hear a lot of these songs that maybe I haven't heard before, maybe refresh my memory on some of them that I have that I didn't realize was hers. It's about a seven and a half minute video. But I figured it'd be a good chance to get all of them knocked out, kind of get caught up on what her music sounds like. That way in the future, if any comes out, I know exactly what I'm looking forward to. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, now that we're on this side of the hop, as I said on the other side of the introduction, we are gonna do an evolution of Bieber Rex's music so we can get everybody caught up, everybody on the same page, and we can see what my reactions are to it, and maybe you guys can comment and let me know some of yours. So, this is The Amazing Bacon, and this is The Evolution of Bieber Rex. And we're around. Our black car. Okay, so Black Cards, I assume, is maybe a group that she was in, because I noticed that was 2010, 2011. And then she's Bieber Rexa, so maybe there was a jump there. I'll have to look into that. Oh, everybody knows that song. Okay, so as we get into the mid 2000s and teens, I gotta say, uh, with the exception of Under My Bed or Monster Under My Bed, I don't know that I've heard any of those songs, but there's one thing for sure, and that's she's got some powerful pipes. Now, this video here, um, I actually did a reaction video too, so maybe from this point on, maybe I'll recognize some more of her music. I guess it's just the early years that I wasn't that familiar with. So I think this is like a sub-genre of pop, but what exactly would you consider this style of music? Uh, like I've said in my earlier videos, obviously I'm a big rock fan. Um, more of the heavier stuff, grunge, the old school punk, stuff like that. Uh, so honestly, I haven't listened to a whole lot of this. I don't even know what the genre would be considered. So if you guys could help me out, I would appreciate that. But again, like I just, I can't get over for how small and petite she is, how big her voice is. That's one thing that regardless of the different types of songs that she's done, that's easy to see through all of them.
this song <clears throat> that doesn't mean i'm proud of it it's it's florida georgia line but i've heard of it okay yeah i know this song Okay, so maybe you guys can help me out with this one. Um, like I said, obviously, this isn't my usual type of music. And I got to say, Bieber Rex has got a lot of talent. And it looks like she does like a lot of um, uh, like collaboration music. And honestly, I didn't realize that she had 55 different singles. That's, I feel almost, <laughs> almost a little bit embarrassed to call myself a music fan, even though I know that that's not my type of music, but just the fact that she's had so many songs and I've heard maybe like five. Um, I, I don't know what that says necessarily for her popularity versus the type of music that I listen to and whether she has crossover appeal or not. But I got to say like that, that early 2012 to 2014, um, those years, I really liked that because that was more of like a, uh, I don't want to say like a sensual sound, but more of like a softer, more like, vocally focused sound and then she started getting into more of the beats and more of uh what i would almost consider like club music and one big question that i have with bieber rex is the one song the first song that i reacted to of hers was uh last hurrah and i don't understand it. if she's only been making music for nine years for maybe some of you bieber rex fans is there some sort of like importance to why it was a last hurrah like is she considering getting out of music or is was it just a, a marketing ploy or like what's going on because i know that i read after i did that um reaction video that apparently her dad was super not happy about it and called it pornographic and they got into a big fight over it and stuff like that um so i don't know if maybe it was just for the sole purpose because of what the content was or what so maybe you guys can help me out on that i think overall um 
first and foremost, thank you to Jill Board for putting together that video. Uh, but past that, like, she's got a lot of talent, and I would really like to see her have a lot more crossover appeal into maybe some other genres that she hasn't touched into because I think she does have a lot of talent. She has a lot of vocal ability and vocal range that I think a lot of female vocalists out there don't have. Because she can get, like, way, way up here with her notes, and that's, that's something that a lot of females now, especially in, like, my genre of being rock and uh, more of, like, the punk and grunge and stuff, they want to get more into that lower, bassier, throatier sound and so you don't end up with a whole lot of that super high tone. And I think that it would be really neat if she did to cross over into that genre. Because she definitely has the talent to pull it off. Um, overall, Bieberexa America, I'm super glad that you suggest that because now I do feel like I have a better idea of where she's coming from, even if I do have a lot of questions because I'm not familiar with the genre itself. Um, I'm glad that you suggested that. And uh, maybe in the future, if she comes out more beauty. Uh, if she, she comes out with more videos in the future, maybe I can uh, react to some of those. Or if maybe there's some songs that wasn't on this list that maybe you guys could suggest, I'd be more than willing to look into them. But I won't keep you guys for any longer. Obviously, same shtick as usual. If you like what you saw, comment, like, share, all that stuff. Um, I am continuing to try to get to 100 subscribers. I'm about 25 people short. And uh, I just think it would be a good little benchmark to meet. So maybe if you guys could help me get to that. I think that'd be awesome, but otherwise, this is The Amazing Bacon, and I will talk to you guys later.